In the winter of 1982, 12 men were commissioned by the United States National Science Foundation to gather data concerning the physical and natural resources in the Antarctic. At a distant Scandinavian camp, these Americans encountered evidence of an alien being that fell from the sky 100,000 years ago. Our next film, The Thing, has already caused a lot of talk before it has opened. About two weeks ago, something very unusual happened to me. I began getting postcards at my newspaper office from <laughs> readers telling me that John Carpenter's new movie, I guess they'd seen it in a preview, was one of the most disgusting films ever made. Well, those postcard writers certainly were right about one thing. <laughs> the movie, The Thing, does contain a lot of repellent special effects. <laughs> is based on the same book that was used in a 1952 movie also called The Thing and there is a similarity between the two films with both having the subtext of a Cold War mentality suspicion of strangers this part of the thing is not disgusting at all I think actually it's quite intriguing especially in this scene where the scientists begin to doubt each other wondering who among them has been infected by the thing which turns you into a monster that looks exactly like yourself what kind of cell structure is this well, you see, that's the point. I don't get your plan. I'm not sure it is any kind of cell structure. At least as we know cell structure. You see, when this thing attacked our dogs, it tried to shape its own cells to imitate theirs. We got to it before it had time to finish. Finish what? Finish imitating these dogs. You're saying that that thing in the ice was trying to become our dogs? Yeah. It seems to be able to imitate other life forms. So what's our problem? The thing's not dead yet. Great. What's it gonna do, put us up together and come chase snap us? Later, there's a terrific blood test where they try and check out who is human, who is not. I wish this movie were less ugly than it is, because in terms of storytelling and suspense, and that subtext of suspicion of one's fellow man, this is actually a very well-made movie, but at regular intervals, no doubt about it, it does gross one out. So, a mixed review for the thing for me. I'm gonna recommend it, but serve notice that a lot of people who see it will be made sick by it. I think that's probably an understatement. I would call this the barf bag movie of July. I have some problems with it. One of them is, I think, the characters. They're not made into three-dimensional people. Their function is to walk down the corridor and be jumped on. The other thing is plausibility. Once they figure out that this thing can turn into one of them, they ought to institute a watertight buddy system, but instead they have all kinds of loopholes. People walk out into the snow, come back with a grin on their face, so that the story is totally implausible, and the movie just basically is an excuse for this very gruesome and repellent creature to gross us out. It is okay. the most nauseating thing I've ever seen on a movie screen, I think. That's quite a statement. I yes, think, I, I think, think I'll stand behind yeah, it. Yeah, I think that the uh, movie for me, though, isn't about those characters mm -hmm. as individual people. I think that's why they can be interchangeable. I think that it's about how a society, this little group here, mm -hmm. wants the poison, they think something's mm -hmm. going wrong, you're, you're not in the group, you're out, move, just uh -huh. that line, move away to one side, it's a very mm -hmm. chilling thing. And I think if you read the movie in that way, then the implausibilities well, at, your, at your level mean very little. And so you sit there wishing, and I do wish, that it were a lot cleaner. Well, I think, Gene, though, that you, I've got uh, news for you, and that is that 99% of the people who go to see this movie are go there to see the monsters, and very few of them are going to read it as your kind of uh, allegory of McCarthyism. That we will see. You're a pretty pissed off bunch of dead men, don't you think?
John Carpenter's The Thing. Anytime, anywhere, anyone. <laughs>